Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you wondering what's taking up space on your Mac system data and you want them cleaned up? In this video, I will show you how you can clear space on your Mac by freeing up some of your system data. Let's go. System data contains system related files which commonly include application leftovers, cache files, disk images, and plugins or extensions. The application leftovers are residue files that remain in the system even after deleting an app. Temporary or cache files, on the other hand, usually includes app, browser, or system cache. The more often you use an app, the more it will store cache files on your system data. While disk images are application installer files. Plugins and extensions are tools that are often used to customize apps or web browsers. If you're struggling with a full hard drive, some may advise to do some storage upgrades on your Mac. Although it is true that Apple does have several upgrade plans, the cost may unfortunately be too expensive and not budget friendly. Before you consider upgrading, I will show you how you can get the most out of your Mac even without upgrading to a larger storage plan. Mac OS has a built-in storage manager wherein you can manually optimize your Mac storage. However, you will notice that the system data is disabled here, thus making it impossible to nitpick whatever it is that occupies your system data. Nevertheless, optimizing your storage on each applicable file categories can be a good start at cleaning up space on your Mac. You may also enable some configurations under the Recommendations tab in order to optimize your storage. To save space, you can choose to store your files in the cloud, remove watched movies or TV shows, automatically remove items in the trash and reduce clutter. Aside from that, you can also manually remove unused or large files on each category like documents, photos and applications. The system and library folders on your computer's hard drive are where most of your Mac's system data is stored. But did you know that you can manually delete your library's login cache files? In order to do that, click on Go from the menu bar and select Go to folder. Then type in the path directory of the library containing the cache files that I will flash on the screen. After navigating to the folder, you can select some cache files and move them to the trash. While you're in the library directory, simply scroll down and select the logs folder in order to delete some log files. At this point, make sure to exercise caution in selecting files. Delete them only if you're certain they're not currently being used in the system. Otherwise, deleting the cache files may cause some unnecessary errors. Now, what if your system data is at its maximum capacity and you want to be sure to delete all of your system data? In that case, you will have to restore your Mac, reinstall it, and recopy all of your files back on your Mac. Although this method is the most effective way on clearing up everything on your Mac system data, it will take some time. But if you have the time and would like to give it a try, I have another video explaining how you can restore your Mac to its original state. Simply click on the tag at the top right corner or check out the link in the description below. As I have mentioned earlier, your system data mostly consists of system-related files, some of which may be sensitive and crucial for your computer. In order to prevent any unnecessary loss of data, it is better to just install a cleanup software on your Mac. For that, I highly recommend the Clean My Mac software from MacPaw. This software is notarized by Apple, so it is safe to download and install on your Mac. You can download it for free and use limited functionalities, or you can experience all of its features by subscribing or purchasing to premium. To download the software, click on the tag at the top right corner or find the link in the description below. After launching the app, do a smart scan and let the program look for unneeded junks, virus or threats, and increase system performance as well. With a simple scan, you can easily clear up gigabytes of junk cache files without worrying that you may delete important files. As you can see, I have just cleaned out more than 8 gigabytes of unneeded junks in an instant. Of course, it will depend on your Mac and its usage on how much junk the software can find. However, please take note that you can only free up space of up to 500 megabytes if you're a trial user. To further optimize your Mac storage using CleanMyMac, 
You can also use some features like mail attachments and delete unused email attachments. Additionally, you can also remove large and old files which you can easily find when you click on the large and old files option from the menu because all the files on your Mac are organized by size. As I have briefly mentioned earlier, it is quite practical to store most of your files in the cloud in order to save space on your Mac. Of course, iCloud is Apple's cloud storage service for their users. However, I will recommend a better and less expensive alternative for your iCloud storage. With Microsoft Office 365, you will have access to Microsoft's own cloud storage service which is OneDrive, as well as its other programs like Word, Excel and many more. You can purchase it by either clicking the tag in the top right corner or by following the link in the description below. When using OneDrive, you can access terabytes of files on your local drive without even consuming any of your Mac's disk space. For approximately $100 per year, you can get 6 terabytes of cloud storage. If you're interested in learning more about how OneDrive can benefit your Mac, check out my video linked in the tag or click the link in the description below. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.